Mildred Millie Sprinkles couldn't believe her dentures were clattering out of rhythm. There she was, perched on a park bench, trying to decipher the hieroglyphics of her bingo card while a group of teenagers blasted rap music from a boombox the size of her chihuahua. The beat, pulsating like a hummingbird on Red Bull, did something strange to Millie. Her bingo pen started tapping against the worn leather, her foot twitching like a malfunctioning sprinkler. Then it happened. A rhyme formed in her mind, sharp and sassy, about bingo balls and denture disasters. Before she knew it, Millie was rapping, her voice a gravelly growl against the smooth beats. The teenagers stopped, jaws agape, as Millie unleashed verses about early bird specials and arthritis-induced dance moves. A video of Millie's park bench performance went viral faster than a gossip chain in a retirement home. The internet dubbed her the bingo brawler, praising her rhymes and wondering who this rapping granny was. Millie, overwhelmed by overnight fame, found herself face to face with Tech 9 the king of rap himself. Tech, usually adorned in enough chains to weigh down a pirate ship, found himself charmed by Millie's sass and the way she could spit rhymes faster than a bingo caller on double speed. He saw her as a diamond in the rough, a granny with more flow than a Niagara Falls gift shop. Their training sessions were epic. Tech, surrounded by skulls and samurai swords, trying to explain the finer points of flow while Millie, in her signature floral tracksuit, would break into spontaneous rap about prune juice and cat litter box woes. It was a clash of cultures, but the music bridged the gap. Soon, Millie, now dubbed G-Ma Flow, was rocking stages that were more accustomed to mosh pits than bingo balls. She'd rap about everything from grandkids who text in code to the joys of prune laxatives, much to Tex horror. Her concerts were a riot of bingo daubers, zimmer frames, and senior citizen mosh pits that made the ground floor vibrate. G Ma Flo even dropped an album, Sprinkles of Fury, featuring Tech on a track called Denture Disrespect. It was a Grammy nominated masterpiece, with Millie's voice, like a rusty tea kettle on heat blending seamlessly with Tech's smooth flow. Millie proved that age wasn't just a number, it was a license to be outrageous. She showed the world that you could find a fire in the most unexpected places, even behind a pair of bifocals and a penchant for floral prints. G. Moflo, the rapping granny, was a living, breathing testament to the power of music and the fact that you can rock a mic at any age, even if you need someone to hold your teeth while you do it. So, the next time you hear a hip-hop beat, remember that the coolest rapper might just be an old lady in a floral tracksuit, ready to drop rhymes about bingo balls and denture wars. Because G. Moflo was living proof that life, like a good rap verse, was all about finding your rhythm and spitting fire, no matter how many candles are on your cake. <laughs>